Baby, you gotta know that I'm just out here doing what I gotta do for me and you, cause we eating. So, bitch, why the fuck is you tripping? I'm taking these chances, my head to the sky, my feet on the ground, my fingers to the judge if the money don't move, and I won't buzz, won't buzz. No, I won't buzz, no. Nah. What's that, Gilly Wheezy? <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> oh, baby! What up? Y'all already know what time it is. Hey, Karmic Day? Mm-hmm. Just finna get it out with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm anxious to see what's up with these week's readings. Uh, fresh off a live reading. Hey, salute. Do you? You just came through. Shit, hell in the back. Go on, bring. <laughs> Man, hey, hey, hey. Charles Bronson, them niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, Rev all them niggas. Yo, hey, hey. Terminator 1 and 2 day ass. Like, let them have it. I'm, I, I like your style. I really like your style. You know who I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Get that shit. Now. Got another live reading. Immediately after these messages. It's just a good day to day off. Getting these LLE messages done. So I can free myself up. For tomorrow. Going to Vegas. Soon. Can't wait. Gonna turn the fuck up, man. If you were the Las Vegas area between uh, September 26th through the 30th, just drop me a holler, done. Send me an email or something. I'll throw you my math. I mean, collide or something. Just on a meet and greet. Meet and greet to just, you know, hey, what's up? Yeah, holla at you and shit. Catch up. See what's up with you. Then I got to ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm on vacation, number one out there. Let's just get that just clear. You know what I'm saying? Number two, if you want an in person reading, I'm, I'm about that life. You can get that anytime, anywhere. Like Janet Jackson, baby. <laughs> Anytime, <laughs> any place, I'll keep cards on deck all day. But if I ain't got no cards, nigga, I go to the dollar store and get some. Nigga, like, this is whatever. Fuck with me. You know what I mean? We doing them $40 in person read on the spot. I'll let your boy Vegas. This is how I do. Go to a quiet corner somewhere or anywhere I can smoke a square. That'd be lovely. <laughs> That'd be lovely. Um. Still doing $25 readings. Those end Friday at midnight. So make sure you book up. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Let's get this Divine Feminist message going. Let's see what's cracking up. Feminine. Um, yeah. We got that. Uh, yeah. Got everything straight by the day. Trust me. If you're waiting on a reading for me, you will have it by the end of the night. Trust that. When I finish my life coaching, I will wrap up my last final email reading, and that'll have me clear for the day. Thank you for the people who booked. Like I said, I'm clearing everybody today. You still got 24 hours, really. I got more than 24 hours to book. But make sure you book up. 25 hours special. You can't, can't beat that shit with a stick. They're going back to 55 uh, when I go to Vegas. <laughs> Holla at the boy. Let's go. Divine Feminine, you kicking this reading off with a Queen of Cups energy. This is a psychic card. What's a psychic? Trusting your own intuition. As divines, we all have psychic powers. We all have abilities like X-Men. You know what I'm saying? And as X-Men, we have to recognize our power, exercise our power, and really control our power so we ain't hurting other people with our influence, with our powers and shit like that. You know what I mean? Great power code, great responsibility. We all saw Spider-Man. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. I mean the Queen of Cups, excuse me. Which is the psychic card. Best thing you can do with the psychic card is really utilize it in your life. Eight of Pentacles is your life in the card. Usually a divine's life in a card. Like I said, it's only 25, 28% divines. 70% karmics, 1-2%. No. Eight of Pentacles is having things. It's having shit to lose. Like a house. Like cars. Like family. Like shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable bed to sleep on. Like a job. Like purpose. Which is all in your life. People lose God. I mean, God ain't went nowhere. They just kind of strayed. That's kind of how that works. It's all in your life. Eight of Pentacles. That's a good position. 
You know, what you don't want to be is in a position anywhere under eight of pentacles. What you want to do is try to keep eight of pentacles your homeostasis. Homeostasis is the six of pentacles. That's just shit being okay. Seven of pentacles, that's just passing in life. We'll dive into those pentacles if they pop up. We're not going to dive into them right now. We're just talking about the eight of pentacles right now. This is having something to lose. If you ain't got nothing to lose, best believe you're just a taker. Say that shit two times. If you ain't got shit to lose, that means you a taker. But you ain't got to be a taker in life. Why? Because you're a creator. You're a whole fucking X-Men. You're a divine, right? Exercise your power. <laughs> you know what I mean? And recognize your power. Because it's only going to help in the long end. Last smoke with the Queen of Cups is dreams, visions, fantasies, signs, and synchronicities. Look out for them. Overall energy. That's fairly important, feminine. Bottom line energy was very important. We got focus. Five of Swords again. Five of Swords is focus. That's aiming at a target, getting ready to shoot at it. Before you shoot your shot at anything, you need to be looking at the target. You need to be aiming correctly. Then you can't take too long to aim because it's going to fuck up the accuracy of your shot. Hold, your, hold that big ass hand cannon up long enough at a motherfucker who's threatening you. Eventually, your hand finna droop down and shit. It's going to make the accuracy of the shot. Like that, that bitch going to kick that shit up. You'll lose accuracy the longer you hold it. And why are you pulling out a gun and not shooting? Why are you cocking back a bow and arrow making your back elbow, your back bow tied because you focusing too hard? When you focus, you focus like you aiming at a target. You let it go. You aiming at a target and then you let it go. You don't fucking pull out for no reason. And you ain't aiming for no fucking reason. What are you even focusing on if you ain't trying to shoot a shot? It's like you're using your scope to see shit instead of using your scope for the main purpose you scoping something out for. Clarifying that is the four pentacles. You holding on too tight to some shit or being scared to let something go. You're scared to take a shot still. We went over this last week. You're still in that energy, feminine. You're scared to take a shot. This is a karmic situation, right? What is a karmic situation? It ain't just a relationship. When I say karmic demos, it could be you and your karmic demo. Like, you actually in a relationship with a karmic. Like I say, it's good karmics out here. All karmics ain't fucked up. People come in your life for a reason and a season. These are some of the people. Let them do what the fuck they came in your life to do. Especially the good shit. You got three things in life. It's either going to be good, bad, and ugly. Fucking with people. Fucking with God. Fucking with anything. Only thing about God, if it's bad, it's still good. Say that shit two times. For the niggas that forgot in the back, hey, when you fucking with God, it's good, bad, and ugly too. But even when it's bad, it's good. When you fuck with divine realms and divine celestial beings and shit, it's good, bad, and ugly. They're not God. God is the most purest form of energy and emotion or anything, power you can have in this motherfucking universe. It's always going to be for your good. When you fuck from a step down to God, God's created people who aren't like human beings. We're like bottom tier. We're like devil, Satan, Lucifer. We're bottom tier. We're garbage. <laughs> we garbage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good, bad, and ugly fucking with celestial beings. Because they might have another agenda. Like, Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. We're three different people from three different places with three different agendas. Just throwing that out there. When you fuck with human beings, like I say, it's good, bad, and ugly. I keep saying good, bad, and ugly, nigga, because it's a 33% chance that either one of them shits is going to happen. It's going to happen. This is Earth, nigga. Like, I'm saying, when you live long enough, nigga, an asteroid finna hit this bitch. It's going to hit a major city, too. It's going to be fucking terrifying and fucked up. But it's, the chance of that happening is... <laughs> The world is as vulnerable as you are in a dangerous neighborhood. You know what I mean? The same way a slug, uh, a shot can, can hit you at any time. On some dumb ignorant shit. Yeah, the world can get hit just like that too. The world can get shot too, my nigga. Like, I'm just saying. It's the dynamics of things. Another reason why you really can't hold on to nothing. Another reason why you need to kind of focus on what matters and what don't. Tomorrow ain't promised for no motherfucking body. So at no motherfucking time. At any time. Especially... At a time like this, in a world like this, should any of the feminine be pivoting on any decision? God has brought you many places. God has brought you on your path. God's brought you to your twin. God's done a lot for you. God ain't failed you yet. Why the fuck are you still playing yourself? Moving on. Let's go.
Go for me too, geeks. I'm the wine feminine. Uh, first card in the feminine message, we got the six of cups. That's sauce. Main reason we here. This goes for me. This goes for the divine feminines watching. And to the divine masculines who are watching, this is just on your feminine shaft and nuts real quick. Six of cups. All divine feminines are saucy. Masculines are saucy too, but not to the manner of the divine feminine. Divine feminine is the, is the sauce maker. That's the reason for the sauce. You create sauce. You're a saucy individual. The why masculine is addicted to the sauce. So the only reason why masculines are even in the situation is because of the sauce. This is your stage, your style, your personality, your essence. This is what makes you you. Your masculine was drawn to this in the beginning. During and still and will in the future. This sauce, the steeze, your personality, your essence, that shit will never change. Whether you're your age now or, I don't know, 50 years in the future, your sauce is never going to change. Like I say, my twin is me 30 years in the future. He's just as saucy as I am. Sauce doesn't change. Your personality doesn't change. What's inside doesn't change. The outside changes. You start to learn more about what's in the inside for a minute. You're starting to look at your sauce for how you really need to look at your sauce. It's some shit that's inside that can't be broken, that can't be touched, that can't be topped, that can't be destroyed. It's the sauce. What's in you is very vital. It brought your divine counterpart your way. It brought the good things in your life in your direction. It got you to your path. Got you this close to God. Got you this happiness and this life that you wanted. Feel me? More sauce on the sauce. Five of Cups. Sometimes you got to take a step back and kiss yourself. These are emotions. Like, they're the same card. You're really just going from the Six of Cups and really taking a step back to really appreciate your sauce. Five of Cups. What's that? That's emotional isolation. That's the loneliness card. How do people recognize their sauce when they spend time with they self? Twin be telling me all the time, man. Maybe you need to go to jail. You can learn how to be a real man type shit. Oh. Ain't no pussy in there, number one. What real man shit are you talking about, Dun Dun? No? Like, why should I have my freedom ripped? And me being in solitude in a fucking cell to be by myself to give me some time to think about my life. You know what I mean? Like, some people need jail. Karmics, maybe. Not a divine nigga like myself. That is the worst place to be for a divine is jail or prison. Yeah, they don't make it out of there. They usually end up mysteriously dead or missing or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Karmics, oh, it's free for all. It's, it's a fucking gangster's paradise in that bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you find your steeds being by yourself? I just happen to be a loner in life, my whole life. I got a twin sister, but I'm a loner. You know what I'm saying? I'm a loner. So I'll, I'll spend countless time by myself, alone. Feeling alone, being alone, you know, and all it's done is make me realize how saucy I am. Like, I'm the shit. Fuck what these niggas talking about. I got a kind heart. I got talent, man. Like, I'm, man, ain't nobody out here like me, man. Like, it took me just being emotionally isolated in the world for me to know my worth. It took people to not fuck with me and just me being a bum, homeless, everything. Like, I've been, man, <laughs> I've been rock bottom, like the rock, baby, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I can say, through all that, I've had the same sauce. You know what I'm saying? Money don't make boom. Stability don't make boom. Security don't make boom. Boom, been making it without all that. Niggas, is before I was born. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Say that shit to say this. Sometimes you got to take a step back and kiss yourself. To see how far you fucking become. To see just how unique and individual you are. To see just how movie-like your life has become. Fucking with God. Fucking with yourself. And fucking with purpose. And your twin. The long way. But this is a karmic situation. Moving on. Yo, karma. To all that soft shit. You got the Eight of Swords. This is a self-imposed prison. False ideology. False sense of security. False sense of entitlement. Long-standing belief. Putting walls up against your heart and mind and eyes to keep things from going in like they ain't gonna get in there anyway. 
the boogeyman effect. You know, you thinking the cover will protect you from a monster that if it was real will just pull the covers back and eat you up and do what they usually do. It's like you're putting a t-shirt on and thinking it's a bulletproof vest and it's not. You know what I mean? You're only fucking yourself up and harming yourself thinking things are what they're not. The more smoke on you thinking shit, that it ain't. <clears throat> we got Ace of Wands. Awareness. Awareness. You know how you keep yourself out of self-imposed prison? You get awareness. Number one, first awareness, the first Ace, Ace of Wands action, first behavior, first thing you need to do, first thing you need to analyze the shit you've done is... You got to know you in a self-imposed prison, number one. Because don't nobody know you in that shit but you. That's number one. Can't nobody see your self-imposed prison. It's in your mind. Say shit two times. Can't nobody see your self-imposed prison. It's in your mind. You have to be aware you're in one. That's number one. Number two, you're going to have to change your mentality. In order to change your emotions, how you feeling. Because all cups are, emotions and feelings are just... Indicators on where you're going mentally. So you can watch. Do the next step. Change in actions. Want. Behavior. Shit you've done. Shit you're doing. Not shit you're finna do. Actions and behavior. Shit you're doing currently. A change. And shit you're doing currently. So you can pinnacles. Manifest a person, place, or thing. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel, hear. Self-imposed prison you've been in for a while. Or a long-standing belief you've had for a while. Or a long wall, an ancient wall, great wall of China you didn't have built around your heart your heart and your mind that you need to tear down now. Because there's no need for these walls no more. All these walls are doing is just making it difficult for the maybe the karmic in your life to be with you in the manner they need to be with you. You know? Next step we got God. Next step, we got God. This is uh, this is you personally. You regard yourself for a minute. This is divine intervention. Good. God really doing something to really change your life. God working mysterious ways. This is God really doing something big for you. It's like you winning a lottery. It's like you won a lawsuit or a case that you didn't even think you was going to get. This is your life gets spared. and You didn't even know your life is in danger type shit. You know what I mean? You got bad shit that can happen from God. This is a God smack. And like I say, whatever bad that happens from God, going up good anyway. It's just going to put you where you needed to be. This is you getting smacked by God. This is like your whole life falling apart. You know, a judge, settlement, or some type of lawsuit that kind of go against you. You know what I mean? Tower moment, judgment of some sort. Whatever it is, it's totally out of your hands. You can't really stop or do shit about it. More smoke. Then you got ugly. Ugly is like I say. You just don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's some worldly shit. God is going to manifest it through something worldly. Kind of worldly for you to kind of understand. You know. That's why God even comes in the world and does what he does. And puts it in the simplest form for y'all. <laughs> y'all walk by a burning bush, but will... Run straight to a talking pigeon, or crow, or cat, or dog. Oh, the dog's dancing, the dog's smiling, the dog has a human laugh. The cat can say hi, that's that's impressive, not a burning bush. Yeah, it's like, yo, there's a burning bush right there. Uh, it's not burning, but it's just on fire. Nah, they're not even going to stop to look at it to see that part. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, God got to have to appear in ways that you can fucking get. Sometimes when you're in the world, it happens from being in the world so long. Sometimes you can be in the world so long, you forget how God, you forget if it's God even talking to you. You forget, nigga, what one of God's miracles look like. You forget what divine karma looks like. Divine karma. What's divine karma? That shit that God got for you personally. God fucks with us personally. Why? Because it's the accountability factor. It's shit we know we don't need to be doing. It's shit we know we ain't got no business doing. It's shit we. No. And we need to stop doing it. And like, if anybody know God do, and like when God takes time to come out and smack your ass, I thank God for my God smacks. They suck. Because God don't smack me one time. God smacks me like a pimp. 
slaps a bitch that just gave twenty dollars instead of the hundred dollars the pimp was looking for. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> what bitch? You might better go out there and get my money. <laughs> That's how God gets me. It's like psh, front hand, psh, back hand. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna do it no. Psh. Damn, can you please stop? Psh. He ain't gonna stop till I say it's off. <laughs> and then God pimp off. He don't leave me. It's just like when you whoop your kid and they sitting there with welts, crying and sniffling, mad at you right now, but you mom. They love you. Love you, God. I mean, you just beat my ass, but shit. You gotta recognize a God smack. You know, when God smacks happen, just take it like a whooping. You know, I can take the pain of an ass whooping. This is my, you know, I hurt my feelings getting a whooping. So I used to cry because my feelings was hurt. <laughs> it didn't physically hurt. My feelings was hurt. And that's why I was crying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, karma and all that. We got happiness. You know what I'm saying? Whatever God going to do, you're going to be happy with it. It's either going to be a life lesson or a fucking blessing. Either or. Or just some ugly shit you still trying to figure out. But as you trying to figure out the happiness part of it, the emotional contentment, or how to be emotionally content with what the fuck just happened, what the fuck just transpired. So that's why now we got the Ace of Swords, which is the step after the King of Swords, which is God. God is the King of Swords. The step after this is the Ace. I told you, it's a cycle. Go from the Ace to the King. Ace to Ten is karmic cycles. Knights, Queens, Kings, and things are divine cycles. You leave your divine cycle going back to your karmic cycle. This is a karmic reading, right? Yeah, it work like that. Four of Cups, that's just the world. Getting past the world is anywhere five of cups above is going past the world. The world is cool and everything in it, but it's still a low ass level of energy. Happiness, that's the ten of cups. When you complete your karmic cycle in the world, that's being happy or emotionally content with where you at in life. So I can be happy and emotionally content where you at in life because you create your own life, feminine. Everything that's happened is because of what you did. Ain't nobody else. Nothing but yours. It's all you, baby. All you for real. Ace of Swords. What's that? The loading chamber in the Matrix. Be happy. Why? Because just pay for anything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life was already provided to you. By whom? God. Who's in your karma? <laughs> you know? Anything. Anything. No, it's not in your karma. This is you personally. My bad. This is your karma I got in my hand. This is you personally. Like I said, karma, all that is and anything you need, God already provided for you. That's something to be happy about. Strength, power, authority, dominion, you know, valor, salt, swag, love, all that. Ache for all that is in your life, and that's what you should be happy about. You ache for a lot. That should be something to be happy about. It's not things you can be happy about. If you don't find things to be happy about in life, you're going to be miserable. And a life that you created for yourself. And if you're sitting here thinking that your life ain't where it's supposed to be because God made it this way, then you're highly mistaken. You're the human being here. God is in you and God is here for help. So it should no way, shape, or fashion should you be lost out here. We get lost sometimes. Like I say, I was homeless. Like I say, I was fucked up at one point. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't there no more. I'm glad. I'm just moving forward and higher than that platform right there. But, you know... In order to know where you're going, you gotta know what you've been, know where you've been, and that's all the acknowledgement you're getting about the A for Ascension Path that you're A for always on. As far as your masculine energy, feminine, uh, this could be the masculine energy within yourself. Maybe you stepped into your wands lately, and you, and you, and you stepped into your manifestation energy lately. So where you manifesting and doing a lot of shit and the shit that you're manifesting and really putting some time, energy and resources into, you're starting to manifest them. That shit your masculine do all day. That's you stepping up to your masculine side. The equivalent of a masculine for that will be a masculine who's the king of wands, actions, pentacles and shit like that. I'm stepping into his cups, emotions, feelings, which are mental indicators of where he's going in life. And stepping into his sword. What's his sword? That's his mind, his thoughts, his decisions, his ideology, his mentality. Reason why the masculine will step in the swords and the cups too much because you're gonna have to have, you know, it's a lot to deal with mentally. It's a lot to deal with as far as emotional shit. Your masculine don't even fuck with feminine rules, the sword, crown, you know what I'm saying, and the cups, the heart, 
You know what I mean? Department masculine, he rules the manifestation department. What's your root chakra? <laughs> From your root chakra to, I would say, your solar plexus, that's like masculine energy. Yeah. Go up a little bit. This is the feminist department. So when a masculine gets to step in these departments, you know, it's good. And when a feminine can step into, you know, manifesting shit out here, be a dream come true. You're going to get a dream come true. Something you wanted to happen, happens. The wish you wanted feminine is going to get granted. Putting smoke on that, we got the king of wands. For some masculines, they're going to come back. Or they're going to comply. Or like I was seeing in Dr. Gagan's messages, they finna come with a plan. They finna come with communication. They finna come with something. And that's kind of something you was kind of looking for. For those who ain't in no masculine demos or they ain't fucking with their masculines like that, set, like that, just keep an eye out for it. This is me. I'm definitely keeping an eye out for this type of energy right here. This is a wish is granted or a dream come true that I want and need from my masculine. We all have wishes and dreams and shit that we need from our masculine. It's like it's gonna happen. More smoke, final smoke. And this is consciously. This ain't subconsciously. This ain't karma. This is actually just popping, right? Final card on this is the five of wands. That's life after union, reunion, and recognition. Like I say, your masculine is finally it's finally hit home for your masculine. And your masculine, oh, he has to do the first step. After having awareness of his twin flame demo as a whole. So at this point, a lot of time, a lot of masculines have a lot of time to really analyze this demo. A lot of masculines have had a lot of time to really see where this demo can be headed if your masculine don't get with the demo. The masculine is seeing that he is replaceable in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Yes, you speak all this divine and holy shit. But aside from all the divine and holy shit, you got a, a, a divine and holy life that you're still trying to do shit with. And like I said, if your master ain't going to fit in the mix, you will find somebody that's going to fit in the mix. Whatever it is you need your masculine for. You, you know, the master start to realize that, like I said, you're one of a kind. you saucy as fuck. Six of cups. you saucy as shit. There's nothing and no one like you on earth. But what you're also understanding is, is that it's a lot more people like your feminine on earth. They ain't like your feminine, like it's her identification number. Her as a soul, but like I say, it's it's people like your feminine. You know? You're starting to see and entertain what this really is. And you only get that when you leave home. Or wands is home. Union, reunion, recognition, Zion, or God at Zion from the Matrix, like the real world. You know, this is like Neo coming. Zion for the first time. And like I said, it's the first step afterwards. He had a job to do. It's like Neo, I said this before. It's like Neo realizing what he has to do. I know what I have to do. He's got to go in. <laughs> basically massacre everybody in the motherfucking building just to get Morpheus back. The time has come. Morpheus put his life on the line. God. Morpheus is God in this equation. Morpheus put his life on the line. Or maybe Jesus. Ah! For the masculine to kind of get this shit. Trinity, she's very powerful. She's very saucy. She's the shit. She can beat your ass. Don't fucking uh, Neo. <laughs> masculine. But the thing is, Trinity, divine feminine, can't do what you can do, masculine. That's what makes you the one. That's what makes having you around the blessing. That's what makes... This purpose shit more clear with you in the picture. Aside from all that, it's like you're gonna have to put some action in. You can't just know you a twin. All right, it's time to do shit. You can't just understand finally and register what this is. Finally, you gotta start doing shit. It's good that you know. It's good that you apologize. It's good that you down like Brandy now. That's cool in the game, but you, it's action. You're the king of actions, right? It's actions. You're going to have to start putting this in actions. You can't just be all your old feminine's doings. You're going to have to start doing shit too. It's how it's supposed to be. You're seeing that. But it's time to do. 
because you are a doer, and it's time to get shit done. Now, karma to that, we got the Ten of Swords. This is a permanent ending. Or death. More smoke. Eight of Wands. Permanent ending or death. Clarifying that is communication. Which is um, emails, texts, smoke signals, passenger pigeon, sign language. <laughs> It's, it's what you're not saying. It's what's not being said. You know. Gestures. Symbols. You know. Signs, synchronicity, maybe. Writing on the wall, maybe. Like, it's it's a ten of swords. You're going to have to put a permanent end to something. And what the something is, feminine, is something that's been discussed already. Eight of Wands is communication. Whatever this is, it's going to end. You knew it was going to end. Wherever this shit is that you got to put a permanent end to, it's something that was already told to you. And why is this coming to an end? Why is it tennis swording? Because it's the best thing for you. Ace of Cups. That's self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-admiration, self-realization. Told you whether it was good, bad, or ugly, whatever happened with you and God, whatever happened with you and your mask, whatever happened with you and your life, all this shit happened just for you to be right where you at. Ascending. Good things happen. Dreams come true. Which is still granted. Miracles still happen. Like, I don't know what world y'all living in. In my world, God still appears in burning bushes. God still splits red seas. Jesus still walks on water in my world. Jesus still rose from the dead in my motherfucking world. <laughs> It ain't just what I think. It's what I know. Fuck thinking. It ain't about thought. You gotta know shit. Because if you know shit, you understand shit. The only way you can understand shit is by doing shit. Final cardio message feminine. You got the Nine of Cups. Aside from knowing shit, you can know all the fucking secrets in the motherfucking world. But how do you feel about it? That's the difference between a Jedi and a Sith. Star Wars talk. That's the difference between a Jedi and a Sith. It's how you feel about the truth. Truth sets you free. Truth is all knowing. I got the same truth that I don't know the average karmic has, Sith has, person who going against God, away from God, declare themselves an enemy of God, whatever. These are things outside of God. It's only one way to God. And anything outside of God is a distraction or a place you don't need to go to. That's what a divine understands and knows. God owns everything. Just like all Mufasa was trying to tell Simba on that motherfucking cliff. Son, anything the light touches is yours. He ain't saying anything the light touches is yours because I'm your dad and all this shit is mine, my nigga. I'm just saying anything the light touches is yours because that's all God. And if it's all God, it's all yours, my nigga. The world is yours. The world is God's, right? It's yours, my nigga. It's yours. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> oh, that little Maserati, that Mercedes, that Land Rover, that Range Rover, that car that you see that's got your heart. You want it. It's yours. Like, you know why that fucking car is there? For you to have. Oh, you got to go about the right way to get it. You got to have things in place for you to have it. You can't just steal something. It's got to be yours by the fine right. <laughs> Understanding, you can know shit, but 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 you're gonna have to feel some way about what you know. People who go against God, people who move in every direction, but uh, it's something they feel about what they know about God, or about the world, or about how shit is really right. It's only one right way. It's the right law. It's been governing the world since the world got here. Best believe it's gonna govern this shit while the world is still here. Just because motherfuckers in the world want to get all goofy on worldly shitting. Whatever the world popping off on is some third dimensional shit. It's 3D. Whatever it is, it's 3D. Whatever it is, it's 3D. Whatever it is, it's 3D, right? We're past that, right? Okay. It's how you feel about the truth. How you feel about God. It's how you feel about yourself. <laughs> the reason why people are, hate themselves or got self health problems or, you know what I mean, self hate problems or hate themselves is because of some shit they probably found out about themselves. But it's how they feel. No matter who you are, where you come from, your mom could be a crackhead, 
Your dad could be Adolf fucking Hitler. That has nothing to do with how you're going to turn out in life. Hereditary diseases. Yeah, cancer runs strong in your family. Alcoholism runs strong in your family. Homosexuality runs strong in your family. No, that doesn't mean you're going to get any of that. It's how you feel. Your mind is just knowing what direction you want to go. Your cup is the vibration part. Heart, cup. Look how bees fly. Bees fly because they basically... It's a vibration. They're not really flying. They're just moving their wings on a fucking frequency or a vibration of where these niggas can hover. That's why they move the way they move. They're not flying. They're fucking floating, my nigga. It's a vibration. Like, they're, they're riding sound. It's a vibration, my nigga. Like, it's a hot, their, their, their chest cavity is hollow. That's why when the wings create the vibration, it, it amplifies it. It's like a fucking flying speaker. <laughs> Check out bees. They type. It's what's inside that counts. It's the vibration you vibrate on. That's how you bring shit to you. That's how you meet your twin. That's how you know if it's God or not. Or, or dark presence and shit. It's, it's from how you feel. Those are cups. What are feelings and emotions? Cups. Just indicators of where you're going mentally. Going to the future, you're going to have big vibration, big love, big joy, big passion about something. What is that? Better be about life. Fuck you mean? Six of Cups wins. Wins, victory, celebrations. That's what a Six of Wands is. When you win, don't you feel good? You in Vegas and shit, you just put a couple of dollars in the motherfucking machine or you just lost $60 and you mad as hell in that machine and, shit. and then you play and you win I don't know $1,200 $12,000 $120,000 motherfucking dollars how you gonna feel after that win you're gonna be fucking ecstatic it's a vibration when God bless you with a lottery or some shit like that it don't just help you it help everybody around your motherfucking ass let me hit Hundred twenty thousand motherfucking dollars in motherfucking Vegas or some shit, nigga. That win is gonna carry off in the way God intended it to do. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna bless, 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 baby. I didn't have to have this hundred twenty thousand dollars, so I'm gonna definitely give. I don't know my OG like five, bro like five, sis like five. Hook my twin up with like I don't know twenty bands or something, nigga. Just let this nigga just do it big. <laughs> Aside from that, oh shit, LLE finna get an uplift. It's going to be a big change around here for me to get this message out. I'm doing good as it is, but I need to amplify vibration, bees, vibrate, nigga. I need to amplify everything. My platform, my voice, nigga, my presence, everything. All that bread going to do me winning off that motherfucking uh, jackpot is going to help me help a whole bunch of people. But that's me winning that jackpot. Imagine, I don't know, you just a motherfucking, you escape from prison. You living life on the edge, you part of America's most wanted or something. But you white and you know they ain't looking for whites like that, so you can actually <laughs> be on a run for like eight years and shit. You in Vegas, you hit a jackpot. You win. You win a hundred. You a Mern Steven raping ass motherfucker. You win a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, what the fuck you think you gonna do with that? Keeping it real, because everybody got God in them. He might donate that shit to somebody. It's a slight chance he might just give it away to an uh, orphanage or some shit like that. But most likely, he gonna piss that off. All that shit gonna do is just fuel him towards his destruction. Once again, just like knowledge and that money. It's, it's how you feel about it. If money don't mean shit to you, you gonna piss it off. Man, fuck this money. This money don't mean shit. I know people who make money and spend money because money ain't shit. And they wake up the next day and do what the fuck they did before, which is get a lot of money. But they spend a lot of money. It ain't like they saving the money. It ain't like they invest in the money. Like they doing anything. Because they ain't got no appreciation for it. Or know what that can do. So I should say this. If you're living for self, you're going to fuck up every time. If you're living for the kingdom, if you're living for God, if you're living for a higher cause or a higher purpose, you're always going to influence and affect people who need to be influenced by you or affected by you too. Final card, this message, two of wands, this is making ends meet. 
This is survival. This is the key to life. Make your ends meet. For those who ain't on A301 yet, imagine being in a position to make ends meet and do some extra shit that's going to help other people. Imagine what that would feel like. It's hard enough just making ends meet, but imagine if you can make ends meet and do something extra. It's going to take wants, you know. Sometimes it takes hard work. I'm a Leo, you know. It takes hard work for everything. Anything I ever wanted in life, it took work, sacrifice, and dedication and shit. Like, luck really don't run in my favor. It do for like Sagittarius, some Scorpios, some Pisces, mostly Sagittarius. They some lucky motherfuckers. <laughs> luck. They know how to use luck, too. They know how to calculate luck. It's a power of theirs. It's a gift of theirs. They know how to calculate luck. Aries, they know how to get blessings. They're like, they know how to get blessings. They know how to like not trick God into blessing them, but something like it. You can't trick God. Maybe it's just a game that God played with y'all, that God loved playing with y'all, and always was, always rewards y'all for it for playing it. Because y'all give back. Aries, y'all got big hearts. Don't nobody know that, but y'all got big hearts. Y'all give all the time. But part of the reason why y'all give is because, like I said, it's part of that game y'all be playing with God and shit. Like, everybody got their thing. <laughs> so I should say this, like, you know what I'm saying? Make your ends meet is cool, but you need to do something more than that. Evolve. Find purpose. Because the step after purpose is the four ones. Which is finally things heading home. When you find purpose, you basically slide in the home base. You doing what God puts you on earth to do. That's home. Like that's home. You just being on earth, spending your whole existence trying to figure shit out, trying to understand shit, trying your best. You know, that's God didn't put us on earth to just make ends meet and that's it. No. God didn't put us on earth to just struggle, to just pay bills and shit like that. Like, no. We evolve from this type of living. These are actions. Shit we're doing. Shit we've done. Not shit we finna do because we ain't did it yet. Actions are very important, feminine. Anything you gonna learn about. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Bloom. Please stay tuned. Deuces.